All right, here we are in another video of unusual laners. Um, so we are going to run at Ash Top, uh, and we are going to be running Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut Down with Celerity, Mana Flow Band. We have Ghost. We're going to be taking Bork and Black Cleaver as our first two items. Probably Black Cleaver first and then a Bork. Um, and this is just going to allow us to bully this Cassante so hard. He is never going to be able to touch us or or this Teemo. Okay, I guess it could be a Teemo, but still, even if it's a Teemo, he can blind us. Cool, we'll miss two autos, but other than that, we'll just be able to kite him around. Uh, and it's it's going to be hilarious. Uh, I hope it is the Cassante. That'd be easier. We can still take on the Teemo. And I will see you guys in the game. Alrighty, here we are in the game. We are going to take a tier as our first item. We are going to be maxing W, followed by Q and E. And the reason is, we are going to be able to just stay out of range whenever he's going to try something and just constantly spam him with this W. As you can see, that cooldown can get all the way down to four seconds. And then once we get the Black Cleaver, every time we hit him with the W, we're going to reduce their armor. And we're going to gain move speed. So we're not only going to be kiting, uh, but we are going to be reducing armor at the same time. Uh, just kind of hanging out up in this river here, seeing if they are going to come and contest. Looks like their jungler's down there. Uh, probably don't have to worry about anything, um, but looks like this brain's moving. I might try to come down as well. See if maybe we can do something funny here. If this more plants a root, this is good. Prepare yourself to face the night. Okay, we got some, we got a flash. Now I gotta get the top lane. Was it worth for the flash? I, I sure hope so. I'm just running right in the middle of the wave. I don't care. Where's Cassante? I'm okay. Hopefully this isn't a remake. Okay, he's sitting in the bush. I'm gonna miss a couple of minions here, but again, we got a flash. Um, I might have to play a little bit, a little bit safe at the start. Look at the XP. Okay, I'll at least get the XP for that one. So I'm gonna be one minion down from him in XP. Just fine. So we can already start just poking him. We have lethal tempo. Look, just look at this. What can he do? Nothing. Can't do anything. Especially when we're gonna have uh we're also gonna take swiftness boots. And we're just gonna be so fast. Okay, we'll get our Q here. You face an ice Alright, now we're just gonna we're not gonna push. We're gonna punish him every time he walks up. That's my goal right now. My goal is uh CS is cool and all. But the more we can harass this guy, the better. No, we missed the cannon. Look at this. He's going to have to start eating those biscuits and potions. He did take a D shield, which is going to be good for him. He's going to heal back a little bit of my poke. How did I miss that? I will not allow us to be divided. We are one. Gotta continue to take these minions out. We do have a big wave here. Teemo has a terrible gank early, so I have look, Teemo has a terrible gank all the time. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We do have a massive wave, so we need to get this in. And Cassante's gonna have a hard time. I'm having a hard time getting minions because the wave's so big, but he's going to have a harder time killing them under tower and I'm sitting here harassing him. Ash's autos fly kind of slower, so you're able to kind of attack in tower range and just back up. We have to be careful. He's going to try to fling us. I don't know what Teemo thinks he can do here.
Yeah, we got this. Not even worth the flashes. Nice! There we go! That is huge. Asante's just gonna TP back right away. Asante doesn't even have flash. Interesting. I'm even gonna try to get this in because I don't have TP. And then we're gonna get our Phage. I think it's still called Phage. For that movement speed on hit. Fighter, Black Cleaver. Yep, we got that. Grab a couple potions, control ward. We will need that control ward. He's just trying to push this in real quick, which is not going to be very good for him. He's not doing it quick enough. I am going to get back. We're going to try to scout where Teemo is with our Hawk Shot. Like, so cool, man. You got four minions in, but now, now the wave is in my favor. Alright, and now that we have this phage, we could just do this and he can't do anything about it. Now the worst part is the minions, but I meant to take a potion. Oops. Maybe that maybe that ward will help us later. Okay, he is level 6. So one thing we have to worry about. One more level on my W and I'll be able to spam it a lot more. That cooldown is going to drop from 11 to 7.5. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Okay, he's kind of hurts. I'm worried he's going to ult me. Just keep him low. He ghosted. He is indeed trying to ult me. I might just be dead here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And I think I got him. Oof. I didn't dodge there. I was dead. And he ghosted there too, if you didn't see that. All right. And we can also get... I don't know if we want a Kindle gem, so I'm going to... He doesn't have TP. I'm going to get this wave in. I think I want the pickaxe rather than the Kindle gem right now. Maybe the Kindle Jim and Boots. Like, this is a very toxic way to build. Okay, getting this plate is going to be nice. I think I'm going to actually go Kindle Jim and Boots instead of a pickaxe. The Boots are going to keep me safe. He doesn't have Ghost. So if he can't touch me, he can't kill me. Kindle Gym will give me some ability haste for the W. Boots. Another potion. My control ward's still doing work. I don't know if we're ever going to build a tier into something. Because we're going like a bruiser build here. So we might... Uh -oh. Okay, where's Cassanta? He's trying to find the graves. On Graves, go execute. Okay. Yeah. And Cassante just wasted a lot of time for that. But yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go more of a bruiser build. I might go hex plate, because that sounds just funny. And he still doesn't have boots. Let's hit him and run. Can't do anything about it. He's trying to use these bushes a lot. To break my line of sight. I believe with the Black Cleaver and Ashes Q, one hit of the Empowered Q will crack the full armor stacks. I believe that's how it works. Yeah, I'm just trying to get him off. Get out of here, man. 
We're not doing a ton of damage, but he can't do any damage back to us. That's the point of this build. If this isn't the super omega one shot. Let's hit this tower. I know we only have one grub, but one grub still adds up. He does not have any sustain right now. And we just got an ocean drake. We'll just go ahead and pop that over there. No backing for you. We're about to hit level 9, which is going to be our max level W. And max level W is going to be huge for our poke. Okay, that should take the plate. Maybe not. One more. There we go. And just one auto attack and run. I don't need to try to kite. After I hit him with the one and run, then I can kind of back up and keep hitting him. I don't know that this team is going to keep trying to mess with me. He's TPing up. That's fine. We can get just a one more wave and we'll reset. He got a, he got a chain vest. Which is quite funny. I'm not doing the best of CS in this game. I've just been kind of too focused on harassing him rather than CSing. I need to see if we can find this Teemo with a hawk shot. We're kind of wasting those by leaving them. Okay, he is on his way up. What is goodness but trying to do We're gonna try to get a ward on these grubs. I do have all my sums right now. I think Timo's trying to help mid. Again, just hit him and run. We don't need to worry about... Okay. Alright. Calm down, dude. That won't happen again. Now we got Black Cleaver. Yeesh! We need our Swifties as well. Because of the lethal tempo in Ash's Q, like, you still get enough attack speed that you don't really have to build attack speed. Um, and this Black Cleaver giving the move speed, this gives 60 move speed and reduces the effectiveness of slows, and they have a good amount of slows. The Cassante slows, the Teemo Mushroom slow. Uh, the Sona with her power cord can slow. They don't back off, they're dead. And I think they know that. Graves is chasing. We'll just take this. They can't do anything about it. Santa has no TP. Yeah, we have a 3.33 second cooldown on the W right now. With that tier helping us continuously uh, never run out of mana. This is just really frustrating for any melee top laner to play against. Just a few hundred gold off of those Swifties, and I'm probably going to back right when I get enough. And then we can start working on that Bork, and then, you know, maybe we will go for a Hurricane. So later we can just really work on reducing the armor of everybody in a fight. I mean, but even doing this is reducing armor. See, it's, it's stacking on him. The Hurricane would be nice. Yeah, after this wave, we're gonna back. Canceling my autos on accident. I've always played this Black Cleaver Ash build. Uh oh. I gotta get those Swifties. I played this, this Black Cleaver Ash build a lot. Um, but I think in just the current state of the game, it's gonna be super good. They do have two grubs, so he's going to get a little bit, but we have the home guard and the Swifties now, so we should get back to lane 
pretty quick. We also have Celerity. So remember, our move speed bonuses are 7% more effective, gain 1% move speed. So we are gaining 8 move speed right now. Um, but when we auto attack and we get that move speed, we're going to be gaining even more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't really have too much damage right now. But that was kind of all the tricks he's got. In fact, Asante gets on top of me. It still hurts quite a bit. But we're still winning. Up in CS. He's losing the fight still. No. The board is going to not only give me just d damage that will, you know, carry me for the full game, ETP, um, but it will also give me an additional 15% slow to my target. Um, so maybe I'll go Shojin. Maybe I'll go. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, Trinity. Quicken. Oh, Timo's on that. Okay, he smited that. So now we can take this, because he just used his smite on... Yeah, he's backing off now. He smited the crab. Yeah, they're just going to take my tower. But we do got bot tower, it's fine. Mo could just be invisible somewhere. We're gonna hawk shot over, see if he's gonna try that again. Okay, he most invisible just right there. That's fine. We'll just simply walk away. Let's see how close we can get. No flashed on me. I don't have a lot of health. I should still be relatively safe here. I can just help by slowing. There we go. Slowing and reducing armor at the same time. Got the cannon. We out of here. I think we I think we will go Trinity afterwards. I don't know. An ally has been slain. I think we're gonna go the recurve bow and a long sword. That was a pretty good Brandalt. That looks like it's going to kill. And I was ready to ult if that did not work. Let me grab this red buff. Ooh, red buff on the ash. I'm just going to go back up to top. I'm just going to be that side lane menace that they need to send two to stop. Maybe I can get a nice ult here. Asante also got Swifties. He's tired of my slows. It's okay, because I'm not just slowing. I'm also moving faster. In that attack speed from the Borg item, the Ricker bow is nice. They're TPing in, interesting. The Avengers are assembling at the top lane. What are you doing, Vagar? You're a goober. Yeah, they, they just can't do anything. I'm too fast, and they're too slow. Careful, Morg. Don't have any hawk shots up. Worried about the Teemo. Just a little bit worried about the Teemo. Okay, there he is. Missed the cannon. And my ult. Okay, wasn't necessary. I was going to miss anyway. No, we're going to go... 
we're gonna just we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go hex plate. Probably the best thing to go would be Trinity Force after the Bork, but we're gonna go hex plate. If the game even runs that long, it's 20 kills to five kills. I'm sure this is gonna be a quick surrender, but you guys get the point of this build. You uh harass quite a bit. And they just can't if it's a melee top laner. They can't just they just really can't do anything. And it's it's really funny. People already hate range top, but if you play this into them, you're gonna make them so much even so much more mad. Sometimes that's half the game of League of Legends just to get under your opponent's skin enough where they just don't play the game anymore. They're just busy typing in all chat. Which is a very, very true thing of League of Legends. Sometimes if you can just be passive aggressive, you know, not harassing, not not negative, but you can just really get under your opponent's skin. Then uh it just makes it so much easier to win. Like after you kill them, if you just said a quick smiley face in the chat. Or a question mark, or you know, that's all. That's all playful banter. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like the dragons up. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing up here. I've got the vamp scepter, recurve bow. I'm close to the board. Their junglers up here, so they're just giving this dragon. I would easily kill this Timo if he decides to fight me. Look at all this attack speed I have. Okay, Vagar's getting some kills. A little bit concerning. Okay, what's happening? Why why are they dying? Can I get, can I get that hit? I don't know if that's gonna actually kill. Even if I do get it. So are they gonna come up to me now? I don't have a hawk shot. Looks like they're gonna go for the dragon, not for me. It's fine, we got four grubs. Get some little grubbling sponge. Got another wave coming here. Our team is dying. Now maybe this is the hope they need to make this game run longer. He hurts. Uh oh. I think I got a flash out of there. We're moving. Not playing with that. We are all kin of kin, blood of blood. This Vagar up here, which is fine, unless he does that to me. My team won't stop up. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna deafen. I encourage you guys to do the same. Don't don't let your own team get to you. It's 500 mana. I don't really want to lose the 500 mana, but at the same time, same time I could get my bork now. Plate. I would never build this item, but I think it's just funny. You know, we'll get more move speed and attack speed, which is what we want. Makes us a little bit beefier. I'm just gonna throw an ult in here. Right there should be a good area. And I'm just gonna hope that this is gonna get me an assist, which will then get me my board. Maybe? See, it might. Got the dragon. I'm 40 gold off Bork. I'm gonna wait for it. The Vagar is kind of messing up our team, but that's okay. It'll let us get a little bit farther into the to the late game, which will let me play more of this build. We're gonna just keep going top. Now that we have these two items that we've been waiting for, that I've been talking about, 
We're going to get the hex plate next, which is just going to be funny. It's just... I don't even know how to queue items. I think I just did it, though. Now, if we find any of them, except for Vigar, because that guy is fed, and he's pretty tanky. But we do have... Oh, wait, but we have a fork now, and he's just all health. He cut through him. See, we're, we're doing good damage to these minions as well. They're going to be coming up for me. Guess not. But we're just going to be that constant side lane nuisance. What's he got? He's got a thorn mail now. That's not going to save you, buddy. He must here, though. Come on, guys. See? They're gonna always have to send two up here. Even though this guy has thorn mail. Okay, he's done. The Bork. The Black Cleaver. They can't touch me. Now, the Vagar is definitely going to be coming, so we need to get out of here. Yep, there he is. Oh, Caitlyn's pushing bot. I'm going to get a Phage. Let's see where they're at now. Alright, well, me and Brand are pretty safe up here. You can slow, I can slow. Got us some more money. I could get that phage right now. Go ahead and slow these guys, get my brand out of here. Go ahead and just stop that ult. What are you doing, buddy? Come on, man. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing here? Yes, I know range top is cringe, but it's... You gotta admit, this is funny. I wish there were some stats in the Black Cleaver. Like how much armor I've shredded, or how much extra damage I've gotten because of that armor shred. I missed... I missed that update where there used to be stats for, like, every item. I don't know why it's different now, but it is what it is. Drop the ward. And we'll just get out of here. They want to take Baron. I've got 2,000 gold. I'm going to go spin first. I would be very silly not to... This stage in the game, I've got 500 gold. I'm gonna pick up a red pot. It is a tale of failure. We have almost 3,000 health, a good amount of AD. We have armor shred, scaling damage on hit, and a ton of move speed. Like, what is there to not like with this build? I mean, some lifesteal, and some more lifesteal, I mean, would be nice. We do have a little bit because of the Bork, but we can always use a little bit more. Let's see if we can just get this gin. Just run up and murder him. Nope, we're spotted. But we're going to be here with some super, super minions. It'd be bad for our brand. Looks like he's gonna instead make it bad for them. I'm just gonna push. I missed that. Embarrassing. Yeah, what can he do? He can't do anything about it. It's so funny. And here I am in base while they're all fighting over the dragons. And we win the game.
Hit it, kill me, guy. Oh, they can. <laughs> they can, though. We got both the Nexus turrets. We're fine. Yeah, he's dead to Brand here. Oh, yeah. Pop. Good game. Let's undeafen so we can say good game, guys. Oh, that is a dead Vagar now. He survived really long because of this zone of healing. All right. There you have it. Ash build is good. Played against the tank. They'll go 07, guaranteed. But thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in our next funny build video.